What's up, y'all? Bob Bowie 13 here. I'm going to do a knife sale and uh, show you guys a couple of things I just acquired. Uh, got this because there was only uh, a few made, or like a thousand or something. And I uh, don't own any Damascus, so it's a VG a VG10 core Damascus, and uh, seems like they used real carbon fiber spider co on this one. This is the uh, Cali 3, the new Cali 3 in Damascus. Stainless steel bolsters, which I'm not really too crazy for, just because they tend to scratch easy. But uh, I don't plan on really carrying this around too much. Just a wire pocket clip, lock back design. Really cool little knife. Really like the uh, the mask is on there. And like I said, it seems like they used a uh, solid carbon fiber and a different carbon fiber. It almost looks like black site stuff. Really cool never seen uh, I think the dodo is the same way same type of carbon fiber not contoured like that so it's more of a flat look but it's just a thick chunk of carbon fiber on both handle scales on the new sprint run dodo saw that when I was in California for Thanksgiving visiting my family wonderful trip it was cool to be back home in LA and uh, Santa Monica checking out the beach and it's nice and foggy out on the beach it was real cool still rocking this guy loving it Fox Knives, Anzo Flipper. A lot of people were asking me where I got that, and I don't think I uh, even responded. I'm horrible at responding to comments, guys, uh, in my videos, but yeah, I got it from Colini. And, you know, if you're willing to pay the freight, they do have a lot of stuff you can't really get in the U.S. that none of the dealers seem to have either. Uh, some people had, uh, I forgot which which dealer had this particular knife in the wood handle but that's it I don't know anybody who got the tie handle out here still figuring out whether I want to send this to Jeff and have him do a fallout on it I think it would look pretty dope and maybe put a new pocket clip the pocket clip kind of sucks the only thing I really don't like about this knife besides the black hardware also but fallout could uh, take care of that so anyway did a little bit of a favor for a friend kind of sort of and uh he kicked me down with a uh, 51 Morpho. I don't own any Bali songs. I used to have a couple butterflies back in the day. Not really my deal, but you know, every knife collector should have at least one. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. G10 and titanium inserts. Pretty cool. Okay, so uh, on to the knife sale. Get my toys out of the way here. Um, Boker is still up for sale, the Pipsqueak. If anyone wants it, it's here. Uh, I'll even reduce the price. Uh, 160 and it's yours. I don't think you'll find it anywhere else that cheap. I've only carried it a couple times. I really like the knife. It's really a killer knife. Mine is rock solid, no lock rock at all. Uh, lock up is good. It's what, 50% maybe, which is like perfect for this knife. Uh, it's butter smooth. I mean, really smooth good for a little EDC. I mean, this, this knife is really kick-ass. S35 VN steel. You're not going to find it for less than 160 I don't think, anywhere. So, um, I still have box, paperwork, pouch for all that. I only carried it a couple times, so if anyone wants it, <laughs> that's a killer price. I mean, 160 I can't believe it hasn't sold by now. It's been selling all over the place everywhere else for 200 bucks. so... Okay, Boker is, uh, 160. I got my Browse Blades Silent Soldier here that I just don't really carry. It's not really my deal, you know. Um, not really kind of like a tactical defensive knife carrier. I use my knives for um, small tasks every day and, and if it came down to it, I'd use it, but really don't. So 100 bucks. I think that's a pretty standard price, but whoever wants it, I don't want to really sell it for any less than 100 bucks. Uh, I'd rather keep it and then sell it. Now here's another one, another neck knife, the uh, La Griffe, Emerson La Griffe, designed by Fred Perrin. 
these are going I saw the same one on eBay for like 150 this is like brand new condition I don't have the little dangly deal uh, chain for it but everything else is here I have a uh, an Emerson box which is not the original Emerson box I don't think it has that but Emerson box whatever and uh, the bag for it so it's a hundred bucks for that one as well so either neck knife a hundred bucks two badass neck knives this is a little bit lighter a little more comfortable on your neck I'm not sure that I'm not even sure the blade steel on this but it's probably I would think D2 I'm not sure it doesn't say on there and I didn't uh, I didn't look it up beforehand so sorry guys but you know, feel free to look it up on your own it's the only one by Fred Perrin it's uh, made by Emerson at La Griff, 100 bucks, straight up. Uh, all these prices are going to be uh, shipped, $100 if you're in the continental U.S. If you're anywhere else, I'm going to have to uh, talk to you about the uh, extra cost for shipping. Next, last but not least, I have a Hest Folder Sterile First Run, number uh, 197 out of, I think, 200 or 250 made. So first run sterile, so you're not going to have any of the logos on it. It's basically like kind of, you know, first run of a prototype. Nice blade, none of the logos on there. This is all uh, factory. This was never really been carried. There's a little blemish, but it's not a scratch at all. I don't know why. It's just like a thin spot, I guess, in the coating. Tight lockup. It's not slipping like some of them. Uh, pretty centered, pretty well centered. Um, yeah, really bitching finish on that tie side. If you haven't got a chance to see one of these in person. The uh, tie finish, the stone wash, darkened stone wash, is like really kind of glossy, but not. It just looks like it's a really cool finish on it. I'll describe it. Fill a glass breaker there. Comes with uh, the tie bead that it came with. Uh, the uh, the tool here, the original design for the tool, which is your pivot uh, tool here, your uh, tool here to change the uh, to take off the pocket clip or change the glass breaker to a non glass breaker end, which is right there. And it comes with a cool little box, little display box or canister that locks up like so. This one is a uh, 310 for the Hest. Like I said, that's the first run Hest uh, sterile. You're not going to find that that often. I don't even know if you can get them anymore anywhere. I haven't seen it. I kind of scoped the web for prices. They have the triple black, which is in essence the same thing, but with a shitty serration on there. And I believe they made more of them. So just to go over one last time, 160 for the Boker Pipsqueak. Uh, 100 for the... Uh, Silent Soldier by the Browse Blades. 100 for the La Griff by Emerson, designed by Fred Perrin. And 310 for the Hest. So that's about all I got for you guys today. Hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving and uh, looking forward to the holidays with family again. Um, so like I said, sorry again about maybe not responding to some of the comments in my videos. I'm really horrible about that on YouTube. Uh, if you want, you can follow me on Twitter, BabaBooey13, that's B-A-B-A-B-O-O-E-Y-1-3, and you can get a hold of me a lot easier there. I usually respond on Twitter, um, especially if it's knife related. But yeah, if you see anything you like, just email me at ericelm77 at gmail.com. I'll put that in the, the description. Um, and uh, email me and we'll work it out. That's also my PayPal address. But email me first. That way I can, I can make sure that nobody else has bought it. That's all I got for you guys. I hope everyone's having a great day or night, wherever the hell you are in the world. I'm Baba Booey 13 and I'm out of here. Peace.